Hello, Nomad Cult, and this video is an update video. So it's about such seamless uh, border textures or patterns. Okay, so you need images like this here, such uh, black and white, um, yeah, border, seamless border pattern. Um, yeah, you find it on Pinterest or in the internet, or you can create it your own. And also such a height map or alpha pattern, such seamless things work. Okay, so, okay, it looks like this here. And so I start from the beginning. So I delete this. Yes, I delete also the sphere. Let's start with a yeah default sphere, and we need the tube tool here. Uh, so activate the tube, and then draw a path here on your surface, and sculpt your so I need snapping here so this becomes the pattern so this is the path of the pattern so now we have to use the profile and then Press on the profile editor and here you find the closed option. So deselect the closed option and then here in the viewport you see your profile and we only need such a flat band. So like this here. So I activate the outline then you can see it okay so now i'm using the solo view for this and now we need the pattern here so choose the the color and maybe i i use now this pattern here and it looks a little bit weird, so because the scaling is not correct. So here is the scaling of the pattern and you use uniform scale at the moment, but we need non-uniform scale, so we have to scale it in the direction. You see now the scaling becomes nicer. So like this here. Okay. So you see here now it's a black, uh, a black background and yeah, if you don't want it, so like this, then here use the, um, the alpha slot of the, of the brushes and so it's better to use the other the other tool here so i select the sphere and validate it so i'm using here the the clay brush so here import your pattern like this here So now you see here your pattern and it's here possible to invert the pixels. So now you have a white background and so you can change the, yeah. So you can invert your image if you need it. So I also place here on my tube here, the same texture 
sorry, I got the wrong mesh. Um, here on the tube as an opacity map. So here opacity slot, color slot. So now you see it, it looks like this here. Okay. So now I check the wireframe. So maybe I'm happy with this texture and um, I validate the, the thing here. And now it's possible to increase the poly count. So we can use a multi resolution, so subdivide it a few times. I use linear and I subdivide it, yeah, maybe like this here. And then we have to reproject this on the on the uh, on the other mesh here. So I use now the reproject option, and here I choose vertices, not the color. So I check here uh, my settings. So this is default. Let's see what happens. So now the mesh is nice projected on the other mesh. Okay. And then we change here the setting here from vertices to opacity to mask. So now when we use the solo view, we can reproject from itself here. So at the moment, we don't need the opacity anymore and also not the texture. So you see here, the mesh is now masked and you can now invert the mask. So if you like. So now it's possible with a inflate brush to create the, the offset here. But I think we have to invert it and inflate it in this direction. So then we get the the seamless pattern here on the mesh. So let's clear the mask here so then you can see it a little bit better. And I'm using here the smoothness, so smoothing a little bit. No, not solo view, I turn the outline off. So this is what you get when you use the mask extraction, so um, the reprojecting um, the pattern like this. Okay, so let's do another one. I use the tube. So we need snapping. So and now I close the tube now. Maybe something here like this. Then I activate the profile, editor, closed option, and then 
use only a flat band and bring it here in position. So now we use the outline again. So we can, oops, not like this. So we can scale the radius a little bit, so like this. So now I'm placing my texture. So I'm using this one. And so I change the, the scaling and the rotation here, 90 degrees. So now the, the texture is correct aligned. And yeah, it looks like this here. Okay, so here type in a number uh, without comma. So then the texture is really seamless. So like this here. Okay, so now we can validate this object and Here in the MISC menu, we use again Reproject. So here you see the number two. I don't need two, so I'm hiding the other tube here and back to Reproject. So now only number one is active. So I Reproject the vertices. So now our mesh fits to the other mesh. So if we like, you can use here the inflate. So you can only a small bit, so then it pops out. So like this. And here for the um, for the sphere we have a uv map on the u on the sphere so you see here this is our uv and here it's also possible um, to bake the color from the texture to the uv so i'm using maybe one or two k and bake from high res so now we can hide this tube so i think we we have to reproject again uh, to the sorry I did the wrong mesh. So for baking, I reproject again. And there we need a, a new bake process. So Uh, and we have to deselect the vertices, so we need only the color. And here also color. So now it's better, I think. Yeah. So now our texture here is yeah, baked. Okay, so this is it. And yeah, have fun with sculpting. Ciao.